Time now for the ridiculous. You've heard of where in the world is Matt Lauer? Well, tonight we're asking what in the world is up with Al Roker? And I ask this question with the utmost admiration and affection for Al Roker. I really like the guy. Now, a few days ago on the Today Show, Savannah Guthrie and Matt Lauer were talking about an upcoming performance from Lionel Richie. Savannah Guthrie was saying that Lionel Richie takes her back to the days of junior high school dances. And then this happened. Well, That's exactly how you have he did. to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies in exactly. your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the jungle room. <laughs> Natalie Morales... Now, I think they were talking about Elvis, something in the jungle room. I, I couldn't pay attention because Al Roker just kind of froze like that. He stood completely still with that look on his face for 17 seconds. 17 seconds. That's like a day and a half in live TV time. And I need to know what that was about. We actually do have an explanation for what was up with Al Roker. He says he just wanted to see how long he could hold the pose, and the director kind of egged him on. So it wasn't really a glitch in the matrix after all, as I initially thought. But one thing is for sure, if Al Roker ever shows up in your neck of the woods, whatever you do, do not challenge him to a staring contest because you will most certainly lose. So today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing. Second stare down now going viral online. So let's go back outside to Al Roker and ask him, what were you thinking, Wait, Al? We just need to turn okay. him on. Is that oh, the guy who so wax I don't know. know. I just said no. I know. He was scared. I just kind of, I don't know. I just... It happens all the time. Once he started, he couldn't stop. <laughs> all right. He says, I don't know. I just, you said the. I just kind of, I don't know. I just, it happens all the time. What sticks out to me there instantly, and it should stick out to you guys as well. He goes, I don't know. I just, you said the. You said the trigger word. Holy ghost. And together they helped to create, were the principal leaders in creating, a new world order and a winning strategy in the Cold War. Dead in his world, dead with him, and a new world beginning. We are part of a new world order. Where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. No longer will I tolerate their insolence. No longer will I allow these inferior species to plague us. They must be stopped. They will be stopped. Am I understood? Am I understood? Yes, yes Your Highness. Highness. Far be it for me to question you, Your Highness, but might not the New World Order be better served by approaching the humans with a more benevolent hand? And suffer further rebel insults? The High Evolutionary is right. They must be crushed! The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of a new world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose. 